Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create a number field in Salesforce. So you're going to want to be in setup. If you're not in setup, click this gear icon, hit setup, and then it'll take you to a page that looks like this. From here, we're going to go to the object manager. So you're going to want to choose what object you want this on. This could be account, this could be opportunity, could be lead, whatever you like. We're going to go with the account object. From here, we're going to go to fields and relationships. And we're going to click new. All right, this first page, we're going to choose our data type. And our data type is going to be number. So I'm going to click next. Here's all the details about what kind of uh, field this is going to be like the name and the length of it um, for our purposes we are going to need a field that shows us how many users are on this account so I'm going to say number of users or you can use a number sign um, for length you can add this up to 18 digits or you can have decimal places since the number of users usually are whole numbers I'm going to have it be zero and then leave it at the default of 18. So for the description field this is going to be helpful on the back end um, for other admins to see what not help text is for the front end for your end users to see and use. Um, do you need to the other options here are required unique and external ID. So if those are any that apply to you, then go ahead and check those. They're not applicable to us. So let's click next. This establishes the field level security, which I'll go into in a different video, but it'll show the how to make it visible to some users, read only to some users, and you can revoke that access here. So I'm gonna click next. And this page will add it to the different page layouts for the account or whatever object this is on. Um, you may or may not want to move it where it's automatically placed, but this will at least make it usable for those users who have the security in place to see it. So let's click save. And let's scroll down and make sure that we have it. Number of users, here we go. All right, we have now created a number field in Salesforce. Be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out my channel, helps me create more helpful videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.